Hello, Michael here from Small Robot Studio with another RenderMan for Houdini tutorial. Today we're going to be having a look at how to render particles in Houdini. So to begin with, I'm just going to create a geometry node. I've already set up a material network for this geometry and a light for the scene. And I'm going to begin by creating a sphere geo. I'm going to change this to be a polygon mesh and then I'm going to add in an add node underneath that. And this is just so I can delete the geometry but keep the points. So the points and particles can be rendered just as easily as one another when you are using RenderMan. And to do this we need to select our geometry, go to our RenderMan 23 tab and add spare parameters. Once you've done so you can go to the RenderMan tab and then select geometry and you can go to points and we'll just keep this open for a moment and I'll just assign my shader to the points and then if we take a render you'll see that it naturally renders it as spheres and that is the default for render man and those spheres are obviously being controlled by our material for their color so you can easily switch that like so now as for the sphere size we can control our global p scale under the geometry tab and increase that say to 0.5 and then run and render and you'll see that you get larger points you could also control the p scale with uh, your p scale attribute within your geometry context. So for example, we will create an at wrangle and then we'll just say f at p scale equals rand and we'll use the at point number. There we go. So now when we render, you'll get randomized point sizes. Finally, the other thing that you'll see in the points dropdown is the fall off power. So at a value of zero, there will be no fall off. And basically what this is going to do is sort of add density to each individual point. So we'll set it to 0.5, for example, and run a render. And you'll see that the inside of the point is more dense and the outside is falling away to nothing. And say if we increased it to one, it will decrease the edge blurriness as you increase the fall off power. So if you wanted a really blurry point, you can set it to point 0.1 and you can see you get a very soft edge there. Finally, your point color can easily be derived from your points. If you get, say, for instance, give it a random attribute. So we'll say at CD equals rand and we'll use the at point num again and add that in. So now you can see that all our points have different colors there. A little bit difficult to see probably in this video. Um, but if we go to our material network and just quickly add in a PXR primvar and we'll run the result RGB into the diffuse color and set the variable name to CD and the variable type to color. Now when we render, our points all have the random color that was assigned at the geometry context level. So far I've just been doing this with points, but particles work in the exact same way. So we can easily set up a particle system based on our sphere that we've already created. So we'll just select it and we'll go to particles and we'll create source particle emit. So now we've got particles emitted from our sphere. We will hide our original sphere geo and go to the source particles and we can just drop in here and I've just copied the attribute wrangle from our initial sphere and I'll just paste it in there. And so now you can see, hopefully in the video, we've got some randomized color on our points or particles. However, we will also have to assign our material to it again. And because I copied this, I'm also using the randomized P scale. So when we render, you will get a random P scale there. And just to show that a little bit easier, I'll just multiply that point uh, P scale by 0.1 and there you go. That's it for this tutorial. If you found it useful, make sure you leave a like so other people can find it. And if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe as we're bringing out CG and illustration tutorials every week, just like this one. Become a patron and access tutorial assets, bonus content, a private discord, and more by clicking the link below.